Hello, my name is Anne Penfound. I'm a professional storyteller. I moved to Oregon 15 years ago from the UK, and I thought I was coming to a place that spoke the same language. You don't. For a start, I wear trousers and you wear pants. If you come to my country and say pants, they think you're talking about underwear. In this project, I think it's important that you use your language and the words that you, you know. For instance, I went to live in Scotland from England, and in Scotland they call this little finger a pinky. When I came out here, I was absolutely delighted. In this country, you call it a pinky too. But maybe in your part of the neighborhood, you would call it something else. I wear a jumper. You wear a sweater. It's really quite an interesting thing to go and talk to somebody. And I remember I was speaking on the phone when I was very new here. And I can't remember what I said, but I suddenly occurred to me that my listener was getting a whole different picture about what I was talking about. And so I said to them, please uh, repeat back what I said. <laughs> it was something completely different. When you do this project, use some of your own language, some of your family's language. It's so much fun to remember the way spe people spoke. When you're going to do it, use your voice, because at home you get really excited when you're telling about a film or something like that, so include that when you begin to tell your stories. You can start with a little tiny, tiny piece. Your pinky, your trousers, your pants. And think about a time when perhaps you split them by mistake. I went to a storytelling one day and I got out of the car and I heard <laughs> I had to make sure that I was sitting down every time, all the time that I was telling a story because I was very aware of what was um, going on down below. <laughs> so use your voice, use inflection, speak loud and speak soft, be yourself. I think that will bring out a wonderful story that you're going to tell.